that you get to be here to share our special day and I feel so blessed that you are a part of my life. Do you remember all the fun times we had as kids having sleepovers, riding our bikes and accidentally hitting tennis balls over the fence in my backyard? What wonderful memories I will always cherish. Erin, I'm so glad that you could be here on this special day. I've always enjoyed spending time with you, from late night gaming to being a part of the musicals. Thank you so much for always being a wonderful and dependable friend. Emily, I can't tell you how excited I am that we are going to be sisters. I've had so much fun getting to know you the past four years, from our shopping trips to making fun of Rob together. I'm looking forward to a lifetime of laughter. Chris. Over the last few years, we've become best friends. You're someone I talk to every day and look forward to spending time with. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today. Ladora, no matter the distance between us, you have always been one of my closest friends. Someone I could share anything with could always make me laugh and make me feel better when I was down. It has never mattered how long we were apart between phone calls or letters. We always pick up right where we left off. We truly have a special friendship, and I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for you. Clayton, I'm so happy that you would make me be here to share this very special day with me. I always remember spending time with you playing video games, eating Denny's late night. Thank you for always being an amazing friend. imagine what my life would be like without you. From the moment we met in kindergarten, I knew you would be someone special in my life. You have always been there to make me smile and to take me in when I have no place to go. We are more than just best friends. We are sisters. Richard, friends since preschool, I don't know a time where you weren't there for me. Thank you for all the laughs, for all the memories. Here's to many more moving forward. Lindsay, boy am I glad we got sat next to each other at lunch in middle school. Playing tic-tac-toe was one of the best decisions I ever made, and look where we are now. I've cherished every minute of our wacky adventures, late night writing, and our shared love for animals. Thank you for always being there and supporting my dreams. Brad, can you believe that we would get married in the same year? I'm so happy that we remain best friends and support each other as we take the next step in our lives. Thank you for all the laughs and for always being someone I can talk to. Joe, thank you for being an amazing brother. I know things over the last few years have been stressful, but I know moving forward, you and I will not just be brothers, but best friends. Thank you for all your support over the last few months as we got ready for this big day.
Just before we begin, the bride and groom have asked me to announce, to request actually, for you to mute your cell phones and please no photos taken during the ceremony except for the de designated photographer. It's called an unplugged sure wedding it and I think it's wonderful. I think that, that it, the uh, processional was absolutely fabulous. I've done close to a thousand wedding folks and that was a first. That was really lovely. Good for you guys. Good for you guys. It was really nice to have an introduction to every one of you. We gather here this evening in joy to witness and celebrate love. Tabitha and Rob, with deep respect and love for each other, wish to unite in the bond of marriage and dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as wife and husband. Marriage is the greatest adventure of all human relationships. It's the union of two people whose care, affection, and understanding have grown into a deep and committed love. In this act of marriage, two people take on the task of living together to enhance their lives. Their marriage is more than a contract and deeper than commitment. It is a covenant, and this covenant says, I love you, I trust you. We will experience life's joys together. When you are hurting, I will be here for you. And when I am hurting, I will not leave. Folks, I've been sending those five lines out as an option for every couple who's contacted me in the past 16 years. And believe me when I tell you it is not every couple who decides to include those lines. And it never fails to move me. Because that's the scary stuff and the magic and the power of what you two are doing this evening. So good for you. Good for you for including those. No ceremony can create this meaning for you. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through talking and listening and trying to understand, through helping and supporting and believing in each other, and finally, through allowing the important things to matter while letting go of the rest. We are all here to witness and affirm the choice you both made to begin a new life together today. And I don't know what your connection is with the weather gods, but it's a good one. <laughs> I would keep that one. <laughs> it's lovely here. <laughs> Let us take a moment just to reflect. We give thanks for Rob and Tabitha, for their open hearts and willing spirits. And we give thanks to the spirit within each of us that encourages us to be capable of loving one another. Be with them on this joyous occasion of showing their love and making their vows, and be with all of us, their witnesses, that we may all be enriched by what is said and witnessed here. Thank you. Now, as the family and friends of Tabitha and Rob, you're here to express your hope and joy for this occasion. As you truly love them, you will act in ways that will assist them in their relationships, and you'll support them through good times and through difficult times. Will you commit to accepting and supporting this marriage? If so, answer, we will. We will. One more time. We will. There you go. Everybody's shy the first time through. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, the bride and groom have asked that we take a moment to honor some important and much-loved people who are no longer among us. The special candles on the gazebo rails are lit in memory of Robin Tabitha's family members. So just for a moment, let us be still. In order to allow each of us to remember the wonderful lessons that have been our inheritance from friends and family members who've completed their journeys, let each one of us hold in our heart the memory of someone very dear to us and bring that loving energy into this time and this place to be a part of this new beginning that we celebrate now in the silence for a moment.
Thank you. Rob, now that you've decided to commit to another, do you choose Tabitha to share your lives in the partnership of marriage? If so, answer, I do. I do. And Tabitha, now that you've decided to commit to another, do you choose Rob to share your lives in the partnership of marriage? If so, answer, I do. I do. And now these two are going to exchange their personal vows with one another. I, Rob, take you, Tabitha, to be no other than yourself, loving what I know of you, trusting what I do not yet know, with respect for your integrity, and faith in your love for me. I promise to open my heart to you, to encourage, inspire, and comfort you. I pledge my friendship my faith, and my love. And now uh, Tabitha? I, Tabitha, take you Rob. To be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not yet know. With respect for your integrity. And faith in your love for me. I promise to open my heart to you to encourage, inspire, and comfort you. I pledge my friendship, my faith, and my love. May I have the rings, please? We ask a blessing on these rings and all that they signify, in this sacred moment and in all the moments to follow in the lives of this couple. Now, Rob, as you place the ring on Tabitha's finger, speak to her these words. To Tabitha, my wife, my best friend, with this ring I offer you all of my love for all of my life. And Tabitha, as you place the ring on Rob's finger, speak to him these words. To Rob, my husband, my best friend, with this ring I offer you all of my love for all of my life. Rob and Tabitha, as you've committed yourselves to each other in the bond of marriage before this loving community of family and friends, it's my legal and sacred right as a minister and my personal joy and privilege to declare that you are now married. And now right before we get to the kiss, I'm going off script for a moment because I can. I've got the microphone. I just want to share with all of you that it has been a joy getting to know these two in the meetings that we've had and our other forms of communication. I was tickled, I guess is the word, to learn how you met. Does everyone here know that story? Because if not, you better find it out at the reception. <laughs> the bachelorette party that he crashed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. I've never met another groom who's done that. That's charming. Charming and wonderful. So I want, and, I've, and we've had some communications about Ireland and I'm Irish originally. This hair was red before it went white. <laughs> so I want to give you a very special Irish blessing from my heart. Um, many years ago on a trip there, before I ever thought about doing this, I met a wonderful singer who taught me this lovely Celtic Alleluia. It's been used for centuries to celebrate beautiful unions, and it's blessedly short. <laughs> it goes like this. You may now kiss your bride, sir. 